Hello and welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. This video is a care collab video organized by Nina from Ninja Orchids as to the Maxillaria tenifolia orchid. And I have the Maxillaria tenifolia. I have it in this mason jar self-watering setup. And it's been in this setup hmm, going on six months, approximately six to seven months. And it's been doing pretty good. I got this plant as a very small seedling. Um, and here you can see it's working on a whole new growth right here. Um, it has grown a couple other growths. Like, I'm pretty sure, no, this one right here. This one right here, it grew from the base. Uh, this one right here has grown for me. So little by little. I've had this um, for about a year now. And it didn't seem to be doing well in the little pot it came in. And... So I moved it into this self-watering setup. I, I couldn't keep it moist enough. And so since then, I think it's regained momentum and started putting out these nice new growths for me. I'm hoping with time I'll get blooms and get to smell the wonderful coconut fragrance everyone talks about. But my video is gonna be short and sweet on Care Collab. Um, because I don't I don't have any flowers to show you I'm sorry not very exciting but uh, so I do the self watering I keep the reservoir uh, full all the time uh, I fertilize at least uh, one to two times a month and I slowed down in the winter time though I pulled back because it seemed the plant seemed to slow down during the winter time so I follow the plants lead and once I start seeing new growths then I start to fertilize more often. Um, I never let it dry out in the winter time though. I kept it with the self-watering and uh, yeah. So it's in a moss and bark mixture setup. Uh, it's got a little net pot inside of there and the wick goes down into the mason jar reservoir and brings the water up. And when I fertilize, I top water and then um, water the fertilizer. Um, I can actually unscrew this cap, take the net pot out, and that's how I do the fertilizing. I don't I don't let fertilizer water sit down in there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this long term. It's really starting to grow some algae, but um, it still seems to be growing pretty well. So as long as the plant's happy, I'm not going to mess with the setup. But yeah, it's um, here, back here in my grow room, which I recently put together, this was growing in my eastern window with a uh, shaded sheer curtain in front of it, so it was getting really good light. Now it's under Barina lights, and I guess with more time we'll see how it adjusts to that. Um, I think pretty well it's been under these Barina lights for going on a month now, and it, this new growth is coming up like gangbusters, so I think... I think it's pretty happy back here and um, the lights are on 12 hours now with summertime and the temperature back here averages about 75 um, lows go down to 68 highs go up to 78 and then the humidity range is 47 to 64 percent in this back room and I have a fan uh, that's circulating air. I have a number of fans actually. Um, I have these little computer fans hooked to the top. Uh, I don't have it on this shelf though. Um, let's see, I've got them on the upper shelves up above there, but not on these lower shelves. But I still think it benefits with the with the shelving here being nice and open, the air comes down. And then again, I also have this fan right here pushing air throughout the whole room. Uh, so plenty of airflow, fertilize once to two times a month. 
during the growing period. Um, I water at least once a week um, to refresh uh, the water. It, the reservoir looking pretty yucky looking inside. I'll refresh the whole basin, but um, that's probably maybe once every two to three weeks I do that. Otherwise, I'm just re-adding in some more water. And yeah, so that's my maxillary tenifolia. And hopefully in future Care Club videos, I can show it blooming. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in joining the Care Club series, you can reach out to Nina at Ninja Orchids. Um, she coordinates these, and it's a, it's a fantastic way to see a variety of people growing their similar plants in various um, environments, uh, various countries, you name it. So hope you check out everyone else's videos and those videos are linked in the description of this video so you can easily go click on all the other videos and watch them. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.